Hello friends, uh, this is a small video uh, in continuation to my work on the drone, the Arduino drone. So if you could refer the previous videos, the link to those videos are in the description. So here uh, I have been working on the GPS. So this is the latest part of my work. So I have got the rest of the drone working. So now I am trying to get the GPS working so that I can have an autonomous flight. Okay, so here you can see the drone. Uh, this is the primary flight controller. It's underneath this for top. But this is the primary flight controller. It's on sitting on flexible mounts, soft mounts. And on top of that, we have the secondary control, Arduino, which I am using to acquire GPS information and also other uh, information such as the barometric pressure sensor here. And for other sensors, which I'll be using them in the future. Okay, so right now I want to just, uh, I just made a discovery today. So I, maybe it can help others in the process of development. Okay, so you can see that this is a GPS module. So you can see the LED blinking. This LED blinks every one second. It is one hertz blink, which indicates that it has got satellite fix. And it is, it is uh, providing the latitude, longitude, longitude to me. Okay, so I'll just show you the screen. You can see the data. So this is the latitude, this is the longitude. Okay, now what I want to uh, tell you in this video is that the, there's a small problem which I encountered. So as you can see the light is blinking. So it means the GPS is able to find the satellites or it's able to lock into the fixed satellites. The moment I bring this GPS close to the Arduino module. See, I have brought it close to the Arduino module. The LED has stopped blinking. Okay, uh, let me take it back further from the I uh, will wait for some time and 40 seconds okay you can see that leads back to blinking again so this is the problem I just found out actually so uh, what happens is if I if I remove this cord actually this cord this power cord which I'm using to connect my Arduino Nano to my laptop is, is seemingly it is generating some kind of a uh, RF noise radio frequency noise so if I remove this cord the Arduino is still powered up because it has power source from the primary power use that is uh, the power coming from the the battery it can still be powered up without the cord but the moment i apply put this cord and i keep the sensor here see instantly it switches off the led stops blinking so uh, that is what actually i was i was planning to mount this gps module here this way I was planning to mount it like this okay so it will sit on the secondary controller but uh, that now that I have discovered that this is not going to work because of the radio noise so I'll have to maybe mount it on top of a, a small beam so that it sits some distance from the light controller so basically I, I wanted to show other you guys so that anyone having such a problem can rectify the issue immediately. Okay. So I have finally got to make this kind of a configuration for the GPS, for mounting the GPS. Although even, even with this GPS mounted far away from the controller, secondary controller, I still have interference issues. Uh, that is indoors actually because the GPS satellite signals are quite weak in indoors so the noise the strength of the noise and the signal 
they I guess they become closer and this makes it hard for the antenna to get a reception but when, when outdoors actually uh, this configuration works perfectly well no interference and as you can see right now the light is blinking the moment I connect the USB cable this will go away okay this time it seems to be working but uh, this signal reception is not consistent even with the GPS mounted far away at some height from the controller right now it's working but this is not good for indoors outdoors there are no problems now you can see the thing is working perfect okay so i'll go ahead with this configuration uh, this should work fine there is some stiffness issue with the mount so this may vibrate i'll have to increase the stiffness so that it does not vibrate and cause resonance anyway so that's it thank you so this was a small video i wanted to share a few problems that may come up when uh, you were trying to add a gps to a drone so thanks for watching guys do like and subscribe have a nice day